there's an increasing usage of film in photography. Today, the old film cameras of a bygone era are more expensive than some full-frame DSLR cameras. As more folks buy up available cameras, the prices have steadily increased for some camera models by 25 to 50 percent year over year. Today, hobbyists are the ones primarily pursuing film photography. Still, many portraits and wedding photographers now offer film photography as part of their packages. When we say film photography, we're not referring to Instax by Fujifilm or Polaroids. Instax is a modern-day Polaroid instant picture format. We're referring to 35mm film and 120 medium format or roll film, and of course, large format, which is seeing unprecedented growth in popularity as evidenced by the steadily rising prices of large format cameras, such as the Graflex press cameras, Toyo field and view cameras, Zener cameras, Vista cameras, and numerous other brands. But why is film photography so popular? And are these old style photographs coming back for good? Here are some of the reasons why film photography is reviving. Number one, authenticity and credibility. While it is possible to buy fully automatic film cameras, folks who shoot with film do it for pleasure, the reward of controlling all aspects of creating an image. One has to evaluate the light quality, the angle, the film type, color or black and white ISO, the lens, the aperture, and the shutter speed. Folks realize a difference between applying a filter on an app to a digital image versus shooting the real thing on film. It takes creativity at a higher level than a digital filter applied to an image taken on a DSLR. Number two, unmatched aesthetics. The film's look is unique in that it is imperfect, an unmatched aesthetic. Digital gives a clinical look to pictures. Crisp, sharp, vivid, and yes, entirely predictable. Another way to think about this. Listening to Bob Marley or UB40 on vinyl versus a CD. or warmth that you experience listening to a vinyl record. In digital, such looks start with one photographer, and the crowd imitates it in no time. With film, not quite the same. Not easy for the masses to recreate the unique look that a photographer gives to their images. It helps establish a unique style attributed to the photographer, leaving her or his signature on every film image. In the film, the color saturation, depth, the grain adds flair to the photos. Each film stock has its unique flair. Yes, there are presets that one can use in digital to give it a film look, but then presets can never replicate the entire experience of shooting on film. Number three, the look. Shooting with film, one has to concentrate on a deeper level than taking a picture with a DSLR and considering various factors. A film photographer strives to get the image right in the camera and relies less on post-production. Adding to the therapeutic value is the lack of instant gratification, waiting for the film's results. I got my film pictures, so I got a high-res scan and also the pictures like in physical form. I'm so excited. I've been waiting to see these pictures. We ask our customers, 90% of whom are in the 18 to 25 age group, what attracted them to film photography. And typically, the number one response is the look, followed by delayed gratification, the mystery of not knowing what the result will be. And number four, nostalgia. Young people experience a kind of perceived or implied nostalgia by creating and sharing film photographs. The look of the finished product is a big part of that, but so is the process. Snaps we take on a smartphone feel cheap, free, and easy. Every waking moment is captured, and the seemingly endless stream of images has become commodified. Those seeking a more authentic, bespoke experience, wanting to learn and show off a craft, are gravitating towards film. The cost per photo and inherent delay in seeing your work force the photographer to slow down and take more care, 
photographing only moments or views that are of genuine interest. And the element of mystery and unpredictability that come with the chemical process also have an appeal of their own. It's all the more rewarding when your photos work out as you had hoped, or better. Printing images still takes space and a more elaborate setup, but many photographers now choose to scan their negatives for easier viewing and sharing. There are several affordable scanners on the market, and many film photographers get great results by scanning their film with a digital camera and macro lens. And while film's renewed popularity has caused a few gatekeepers to grumble about all of the clueless noobs and the rapidly climbing camera prices, it's ultimately a net positive. Ensuring film and processing will continue to be available for the foreseeable future.